God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So y'all, if you see by today's topic, it is called Three Keys to Personal Power. And if you are familiar with my brand, one of the things that I sell are journals. And if you see on the image, on the uh, on the video, you'll see three of my journals that all have to do with personal power. I'm going to be doing a few of these. I think I have one, two, three. I have four more of these left and I'll be featuring three on each video. But it's not about the it's not about the journal. The journal is just a tool. I want to just say I'm only telling you about the journals because I promised you guys that I really was um very very focused on providing tools because I know I say a lot of things that invoke a new perspective and a lot of times when you have a new perspective, if you don't have a next step right after that, you might go back to the old perspective and you don't have something to help cultivate your new perspective that you come up with, not not the one that I'm saying, but if you connect with it and Lord, Holy Spirit, everything lines up for you and then you create that for your own thing, I always like to give you guys some type of tools. If it's a t-shirt, if it's another recording, if it's an ebook, if it's a journal, but just something to show you guys that I really am committed to making sure that you are wired to inspire and that you do live your authentic purpose. And I do that in my own unique way. So I just wanted to say that to you and make sure before I get started, you like, you share, subscribe, and you turn on the notifications. Lord, y'all just don't understand. I have felt so much love. Mind you, it's a lot of hate. The comments be crazy. Be wild magnolia in them comments sometimes, y'all. Ooh, Lord. But it's all good because, you know, you got to take the good with the bad, the bitter with the sweet. That's not even necessarily a spiritual thing that's just a law that's just a life up has down right has left y'all get my drift so one of the good things about the lord is that he creates us to be a certain way and we have the tools that he's left for us so that we can operate in excellence the way he wants us to right so let me hop in with this this is not going to be long. I'm going to try to keep this thing under 10 minutes but I really feel like somebody who listens to me I feel like you're going to need this okay now for each one of these, I'm going to break down each journal that you see. I will put the links below the description. You can buy them if you want to do it. If y'all feeling this series, I will make this joker a bundle. If you think making it a bundle would be, be something like a make some bundles in the future. Don't forget I have the brand All It Takes Is One Move From God too. I have those journals as well, but we're not talking about those today. So mind you, everything I'm saying, you can take a piece of loose leaf. You could take the, a napkin a note, you can put it in your phone or you can get one of these journals or buy another journal. It doesn't matter, but I want you to take action. Do it whatever way you feel led to. Don't get nothing from over here unless you feel like, man, the Lord is leading me to get it or hey, this is just something I want to do that by no means is suggesting that. But what I am suggesting is that you start thinking about yourself from the way God sees you. Okay. So look at the first one I did, you know, I, y'all know, I speak the way I speak. I used to have this real big struggle with, you know, talking how I write and writing how I talk and all of this stuff. And I'm like, yo, I just have to be myself. It is what it is, right? So one of the things that I grabbed onto for some years now was talk to me nice. But when I came up with this journal, now it's, it's just a blank journal with lines in it. All you do is basically just add the date at the top and you just go for what you know. It's a basic, simple, structured journal and on the cover, it says, talk to me nice. And the number one key that I want to talk to you about, I want you to start the beginning of the second quarter of 2022, which starts April 1st, writing love letters to yourself. Okay. Now, let me tell you why this is so important. Death in life is in the power of the tongue. And so many of you listening to me, I've been a victim of this as well. I got chills saying this. Sometimes we are so hard on ourselves. We show ourselves no compassion, no grace whatsoever. And then we wonder why we keep fumbling. We wonder why things keep going the way that they're going. And truthfully, it's all about how we are speaking with ourselves, y'all, because we it, everything starts with us. Do you realize you're only with yourself the most? It doesn't matter if you have a partner or a child or you have coworkers. You're always going to be with yourself 100% of the time. You're always going to be in your own body until God says, hey, it's time for you to come on back home. At the end of the day, it's always about what you speak speaking to yourself. So 
The first one is this. The first key to getting your personal power, write those love letters to yourself. And like I said, I don't care how you do it. I'm going to do a separate video that's going to blow y'all mind. It's some little tips and tricks on stuff that I do. I've never said to anybody publicly before that will really, really, really trip you out about how you can even be more effective and self-care and doing things that are kind of foolproof, things that you don't even know that you have access to just by using your phone. So I'll get to that another day. But anyway, write love letters to yourself, y'all. That is important. That is important. That is important. Write love letters to yourself. Somebody might say, oh, that's not God-centered. That's not you. That's not you uh, keeping God first. It's absolutely, in fact, God made you and God is in you. So if nothing else, that's actually keeping God first twice. How about that for the haters? Because guess what? Let's just go by the word of God, right? You're fearfully and wonderfully made. There's, there's a craftsmanship. There's a workmanship. There's some time God put into making you. Wouldn't it behoove you to make sure that because your body is your temple, you go inward and you start to talk, you, you, you start to, talk to yourself nice. Talk to yourself nice. You want me to say it the other way? Speak well to yourself and act accordingly. I say talk to me nice. However you want to say it, y'all, it don't matter. I just want you to understand there is so much power in writing love letters to yourself. And that's why I want you to journal it or type it or text it, but do something where you give it life. You have to do that. So when you go back and read it, you could be having a bad day and be like, oh, I was talking to myself nice that day. Y'all know I like a good example. So here is one. Dear Robin, we'll just put myself in there. Robin. You are a great person. You had a great hair day today. It was so nice how you took time to, to try to focus on more of the things God has given you to do. Put your name in a blank. Dear Sheila, dear, dear self, oh self, I love you self. Not obsession with self, but understanding that God made you an individual and you have to have the sense of self that he created for you to have. This by no means causes you to be full of yourself, then in turn putting yourself above God. That is a red flag and that is a no-no. But you have to set a standard for yourself to begin to love and value yourself the way God does. And then you begin, you can begin to serve and you can begin to operate in excellence and live your authentic purpose according to you understanding the value of who God made you and your personhood. And that oftentimes have to start when we write love letters to ourselves. You might say, girl, keep going. You might say, hey, listen. I worked hard today. I treated myself. I'm writing this to myself as a friendly reminder for a day where maybe it's, I don't feel so good. That I'm capable of doing great things. And even if today is not perfect, another great day is ahead. You can write it any way you want. That's the awesome thing about this. So that is the Talk To Me Nice Journal. Love letters written for you by you. Again, use anything you please. Now let me tell you the second one. The second one is... Peace be with you. So the first key to personal power was love letters. The second one is providing peace. You have to provide peace for yourself. Now this one, they have some, you know, it have a couple prompts in there where you, you know, it'll ask you some things and you can follow by that. But this is created to help you with your personal power and the way you gain personal power and it becomes you is by understanding your peace. I see that all the time. Let her be my peace or be my peace. That's great. And if you're called to marriage or a relationship, I do believe that there's a part of us that should be a safe space and a haven and a, and a peace for someone, if you will. But it's impossible to successfully do that for other people if you are not peaceful for yourself. Because even if you could skirt away and do with it for a while, at one point or another, you're going to flip and you're going to cut up because it's not really you being you. And you may not be at genuine peace. So find a way to be at peace with yourself. Now, when you journal this or when you log this or write this, a way to approach that is this. Write down things that calm you down. Write down things maybe that you've been wanting to do that you think might calm you down that you've never done. Excuse that dinging, y'all. Somebody's uh was that's on my computer. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm sorry about that. I'm not pausing this. Y'all know I be raw with it sometimes. Y'all know how I get down. All right, I'm sorry about that. Because I think that's like the third time that happened. Never really happens, but my bad. But yeah, y'all, your peace, man. 
your peace. You are responsible for your peace. You're responsible for your love letters. Y'all, if you want love, put out more love. If you want peace, put out more peace. If you all over the place, you have to do that for yourself. Y'all, I got another one dropping. And it's basically about two things I saw. I saw a man post something about it on IG. And I saw a lady do a video about it on on uh, TikTok. And they both resonated with me. And I was already going to do it after I saw what he said. But basically it's saying this. If you put in the work, you got to put in the rest. If you're going to take the time to work on something, then you have to take the time to rest once you complete it. And I believe that that is one of the keys to work-life balance, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. And, but I'm going to make a video on that because I think that's very necessary. And honey, we about healing over here, honey. We, we trying to do the health, the wealth, the whole deal, but we got to do that thing decent and in order. And we have to do it at our own pace. We can't do it begrudgingly because other people have false expectations of us and they throw us into things and want us to move the way they want us to move. And guess what? That may not be what God wants. It might be what they want, but it's contrary to what God wants or what even you may want. That's why many of you who are struggling with not being at peace is because you have let other people dictate how you should be peaceful. And usually that means taking your peace so that they can have their own. And we're going to put a stop to that right now. Okay? I bet. So then there's that. And here is the last one. The last one is inspired by Ephesians 3.20. Ephesians 3.20 is an extremely popular scripture. But here is the thing. There is always the part that people cut off. That's why me being Robin, y'all know how I am, y'all. Y'all know I'm a clown with it. I literally took the part that nobody talk about in that scripture and I made that the cover of the journal. As you can see, the power within you, the power that working within you, everybody wants to exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. But there's a caveat to that. God literally said, but it's according to the power that working within you. So a lot of people start to lose hope. They don't want to believe in the Lord no more. They think it's a big racket. Well, I didn't get no exceedingly abundantly. Somebody told me that, but I'm like, bet. But did you do the other part where it says it's according to the power within you? Who gives us power, y'all? Because I know people are going to be like, well, how do you do that? Let's trace back to the power source. Go to the power source, a.k.a. what? The plug. That is God Almighty. So basically what it's saying is if you want God to exceed your expectations and to do more and more and more, you got to go to the plug. That's the power that working within you. So when you plug into the power of God, that is now on the inside of you. So tell me now, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So you want to know what number three is? Number three is the plug. That's number three. It's the love letters. Is finding your peace. And number three is the plug. You have to plug in. You got to plug in. That's the only way you get your power, baby. You got to plug in. You don't really have no other option, truth be told. Now, check this out. Now, if you if you decide to get this journal, now, let me tell you how this one is. Now, this one also has prompts, but I'm going to tell you what it says. I literally tell you to pick a power word. Like, pick a word for the day that you write in this journal. Every day, they'll give you a different option. But find a word to stand on. It could be a quote unquote prophetic word somebody gave you. It could be a quote unquote one word like today my word is focused. It can be the word of God, but pick your word. And then it says, this is my word today because what? What happens? It gives you an action step to take accountability. You got to be able to go from hearing it to believing it to living it, right? And so then... I also give you a chance to write today's inspiration. So let's say you go with the word being focused, right? What is inspiring that thought? It could be, well, you know what? I have been all over the place this week. So today I'm inspired to focus on the word focus and me refocusing my life and the things that I'm doing from a different vantage point because the other stuff was keeping me off course and I got to reset myself. And then there's another page that literally just says, I am powerful. You can either fill out each one of those letters by the spacing and make it an acronym, or you can write right next to it why you think you're powerful, right? And then one of the dopest parts that I love about this journal is that I say today's power statement. You got to take the word that you chose and you got to put in a statement. So for, for example, again, if our word is still focused, we say, okay, today I am focused on living my authentic purpose and I will not let anything stop me. Bam, 
That's what you're rocking with for the day. Y'all, that kind of thing, allowing yourself the opportunity to create the narrative. Understand, if, just think about this. You pick up the pen and you start writing love letters to yourself and you getting, you getting a download of what the, what the content of the letter needs to be from the Lord. The Holy Spirit is telling you, hey, look, this is how your Heavenly Father sees you. So write this about yourself. This is how you need to see yourself. Then, then, then imagine going to the next phase like, man, I'm not at peace. I need, some, I need to be calm. I need to understand what God is doing. Imagine that happening. And then you start to create paths and pockets of peace for yourself. Imagine creating a little space for you to be peaceful and nobody can mess it up because you're dictating how it works. And then imagine finally landing in the most amazing, most incredible place of personal power when you you focus on the power that's already in you. And if you know God is the plug and you plug into the Lord, then that means you done plugged into the power and now it's working within you. And so then you say, okay, Robin, well, what happens next? Well, let me tell you something else I have in this particular journal. I use, I have a bunch of words in here that are in big letters and script, and you could literally pick these words. But let me tell you why, in particular, the Holy Spirit led me to put this in here. Like I said, you can t even take the words that I say if you don't want to get the journal, the words I'm about to say, and you can log them, and then you can start using them if you want. But they're pretty common words, but a lot of times, if you don't really use these words by definition, you could really miss how awesome they can be in helping you to get to your personal power, right? So I got words like uniqueness freedom, uh, fulfilled, harmony, you know, uh, live, <laughs> happiness, sacrifice, love, friendship, and the list goes on and on. It's, it's so important though, guys, that if you got nothing from today, that you understand this. If you want to live in Ephesians 3.20 life and you want to have the personal power, your God-given personal power, not the one from your flesh, not the one that's driving you to get these goals and get these things done. I'm talking about the God-given power that is working within you because you've surrendered what you thought. You surrendered what you thought, but you kept your work ethic. We need that now. Still got to get things done. Got to put legs on those prayers, buddy. <laughs> Still got to do that part. But you basically put things in order. You reset and you put things back where they belong. Once you do that, let me tell you, that is a game changer. That is a game changer. So please understand something. If you want to go to the level in your life where you are working by your personal power, find a way to write yourself a love letter. If you don't do it daily, try to do it every other day, dog. Go and do it once a week or at least once a month if you have to. But start writing love letters to yourself and logging them and saving them and revisiting them, revisiting them. And if you're struggling with your personal peace, you have to create your path to peace. You have to create your pocket to peace. Listen, the Lord, our God is our peace, right? The Lord, our God is our peace. But I still want you to understand that even on a deeper level than that, it is so important that you operate from your peaceful place because then you can make sound decisions, being calm and being resolute and, and what you know God has told you that will change the game in your life. That's why I genuinely want you to hear me out when I say this is possible for you. And the last thing is if we're going to focus on the power that working within you, if you're going to focus on the plug, just know this. Hear me out when I say this. When I tell you the results of seeing Ephesians 3.20 will come into your life, that will manifest in a way from God that will literally knock your socks off. It will literally do something to you that is going to change the shape of your mindset and it will change the course, course of your path because you're literally saying, I'm, throwing, I'm letting everything go. I'm throwing caution to the wind and I'm putting all my energy on finding the power that working within, within me, which is the plug, which in turn is God. And the fact that God made you, God is love, you are love and God is within you. Guess what? You can't lose like that. I just gave you a sure foolproof way to see this come to pass. So I hope this blessed you guys. Make sure you like, you share, subscribe, you turn on the notifications. And please guys, thank you so much. Please know from my heart, I genuinely am a work in progress. I am not a perfect woman. All I can say is I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying to get better. And I hope you're doing the same thing.
please join me because I got some more juicy stuff coming up and I will continue this series for a few more weeks. But I love you guys and make sure you stay tuned because if you haven't seen my post, the Overwhelm with the Weight series is coming with a free ebook. Everything is dropping on March 21st. You can also hit the link in the description and you can go ahead and sign up for the notification for when that one drops. I think that one drops on March 21st at 10 a.m. It's already uploaded and all the other ones will be uploaded. The whole series, the book, everything is done. But in obedience, I have to drop it on that day. So just prepare for that. It's, it's, it's powerful like the move series. It's powerful like the forgiveness series. But baby, if nothing else, everybody tripping about waiting on something. It is popular. This is not even a Christian thing. This is people are struggling with waiting because baby, we are in a time right now. We are in quite a time. So I am revisiting a series I did overwhelmed with the weight. And you can also go and check one of my shorts. I just posted like an intro to it um, the uh, yesterday, I think. But anyway, check all of the links in the description. You can get more information. You can get more tools, more help. Don't forget, you can email me. You can hit me up. Let me know if you have any questions or any ideas and check my community page every single day. Something is posted on my community page every day to inspire you guys to live authentically. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. On Wired to Inspire, I hope you are too.